Welcome back guys. Um, this is actually going to be the last UI, the last page we're going to be implementing and this is going to be the orders. So it's going to list uh, all the orders. All right. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please just take a second, click on the subscribe button, turn on notification. And if you can as well, I'd appreciate it if you could also click on the like button. All right. So uh, let's get to today's video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the main.storyboard, all right? And we're going to add a new screen, all right? And we're going to add this right at the bottom of the main page. So just drag in a view controller. All right, there. And uh, I want to show this particular page whenever you click on the icon at the top right. Before then, let's actually just set the background color to this. Yep, I believe we made a change. Then we're going to click on this, hold down control, click and drag right here, and we're going to click show. Great. Now, another thing I want us to do over here is to remove this back text. I don't want it to show yummy, so I'm, I'm going to click here. And uh, for back button, I'm just going to add a space. Press enter. You can see that now it doesn't show any longer. So now we're going to create the class for this particular view. All right, so uh, get over to the views and we're going to create a new group, which we're, which we're going to call list orders. All right, so create a new Coco Touch class and say list orders. Great. So now that we have that created, we can actually just get rid of this. And then in our storyboard, we're going to set that as the um, class. So this is going to be list orders. I'm going to set that as a storyboard ID as well. And uh, we're going to drag a table view. This is actually very similar to the last page that we just did, the list dishes. So let's go ahead and add constraints like that. And we're going to set the background to be clear and remove the separators I know not selection um, or, yeah. okay so uh, let's actually add the delegates and data source this should be a pretty short video great so now we're, we're gonna need to create an outlet for our table view so uh, just open up the list orders Hold down Option, click on that, hold down Control, and this is going to be Table View. Great. So now that is done, we can now close this and head over to the List Orders. And the first thing we want to do is to register uh, our um, nib. So I'm going to create a private func. And I will say Table View dot register. And we're actually going to be using the same view as the um, the list dishes, all right? So this is going to be like this: um, dish list identifier nil the identifier Great, and we're going to set the title for this page to be equal to orders. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and implement the um, table view delegate and data source. So extension of the UI, um, sorry, list orders like this, table view. I'm making so many mistakes today. All right, so now we have number of rows and number of sections. No, sorry, cell for row at index path. Great, now before we implement this, I want us to actually create a new model that is gonna be called orders. So get over to the models part and we're gonna create a new Swift file and we're gonna call this order. Now this is going to be a struct that has the ID. It also has the name of the person that placed the order. And then we also have the dish. 
Perfect. Now we can go back into our um, this place and create a an array of order. Okay. So uh, for the order, I'm just going to go over to the home page first of all. Just to copy a single order because, man, you know what it is. So uh, let's get back. And now for order, I'm just going to create one or two ID name. All right. For the dish, I'm just going to paste that. And let's do another one. Another one. Um, David, Grace. So these are my siblings. Okay. Uh, so uh, Beans and Gary. We have Rice and Stu. We have Fried Yam. Awesome. So here we're going to return orders dot count and for the cell say let cell be equal to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier the identifier is of course going to be the dish list dot identifier as that we're going to return cell okay now for this particular one, I'm going to create a second setup. And this setup is going to take in order. <coughs> and it's going to be pretty much the same as this. The only difference is for the description, we're going to have dish or order. So the dish is optional, remember? So we're going to have the order dot name. So the person that placed the order, all right? Then um, here we're going to set up and we're going to be using the order and say orders and index path dot row. Great. So let's run this and when you click on that, we should see a list of um, orders, okay? <coughs> So we click on this, and awesome, it actually works very well. So uh, the last thing we're going to do is when you click on any of them, you're supposed to open up the dish detail page, all right? And I'm sure you already know how to do that. So we did select, and we're simply going to say let controller equals um, dish detail dot instantiate navigation controller dot push. controller and true and right here we're going to need to set the dish so dish is going to be equal to um, orders index path dot row and then we're going to pass in the dish so let's run this and I guess this should be it so we click on this we we'll click on Beans and Gary. You can see Beans and Gary. We we'll click on Fried Yam. Yes! So we're done with our UI. In the next video, we're going to work on our networking layer. So we're going to create or set up our networking layer so that we can make requests easily. All right? So till then, see you guys next time.